Today we are at the market theatre where we will be behind the scenes of Nina Simone for a woman as well as Van Veig, the storyteller of Rivoli. So first and foremost, Nina Simone is of course the iconic political activist Nina Simone's story. But we have Van Veig, who we happen to be Chris Van Veig, a storyteller as well, a poet writer, he was a novelist and he comes straight from Rivoli. Both of these stories are profound, strong and are definitely, definitely two of my favorite for this trimester. So let's head inside and see what the actors behind the scenes has to tell us as well as directors. In your brave new world of a modern industrialized economy, it is of course of no use to anyone now. Certainly none of the inhabitants of Rivoli who live in its shadow have ever laid claim to any of its gold. But, but play that, play that moment as well. So now you've seen uh, um, the Dungas has never laid claim to any of its gold. I'm still nervous. I'm still shaking, but I'm still going to do this. I'm sitting next to my television father. I grew up next to Comic Sefio, Ses Il, Sio de Lan, Neville Menkis, a.k.a. Zayn Meas. We're going to do this. We're going to do this, girl. Self? Baie, baie good. I'd like to know you wrote this play. You wrote Van Veik, the storyteller of Rivoli. Somehow, are you related to Van Veik? I'm not. I'm not related. I'm a very good friend of his. Well, I, I'd like to think I was a very good friend of his. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have been in acting if it hadn't been for Chris. Actually, mm. in my matric year, we were doing. We were looking for a play, and we found a short story that he wrote. Yes. So we asked him to adapt it into a play. I then won an award for that play. Then I went to Wits to study drama. Wow. And so, so Chris was there at the very start of my career. And then a year or two after that, he wrote a one-man play for me mm. about a, a detention, a friend of his who was in detention. Mm. And then after that, I played Chris in Shirley, Goodness and Mercy. Uh, Christo and I both played Chris. He played the younger Chris. I played the older Chris. The message that Chris uh, gave out all his life was read, 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 read. So a lot of this play talks about his love of books and reading. His love of telling stories and going to schools and reading to kids. And I, and I hope that comes through. I hope that mm. comes through um, strongly in this play. Chris loved reading. He wanted people to read. He wanted people to experience what he read when he opened the book. Mm. I'm struggling with my kids at home. Really? To get them to read. I want them to see this play ten times so they would go home and read books. I think it's our generation. It's a situation and a half. We yeah. struggle to read. Yes, always on the phone. Social media. So One last question. As a writer of mm. this play, do you think you've done justice to the story as well as to Chris Van Wyk? No, I don't think you can ever feel I did it. You know, there's mm. so much we could have. We have an hour to cover one man's life. and There's, there's a lot. There's, you could do a 20-hour play. You still wouldn't cover all the life, but, uh, all, all of the life of Chris. But I'm hoping that we've grabbed key moments in his life and key concepts that he was about like reading and poetry and being non-racist and non-sexist mm. and all of that. Hope we take all of those things and, and, and bring it out to the people. And people who've never read any of his work ever, I hope they leave the theatre going, I'm going to go buy a book. Please. I'm going to go buy a Chris Van Wyk poem, <laughs> poetry collection. I'm gonna go, yes. I want people to do that. They must go out and find, ask, where, are they selling the books here? Mm -hmm. and, and I want to know who this guy is, Chris. Mm. Chris is, and that's my aim. That's, that's what I'm hoping will happen. I'd like to know from you, as a director, what significance does Van Veik have in your life particularly? Uh, a very long time ago, in about 2005 or 2006, uh, we started a play, uh, myself and Zayn Mears, with, uh, J uh, which was directed by Janice Honeyman. This, the book, Shirley Goodness and Mercy, was adapted and directed by Janice Honeyman. And she casted both myself and Zayn Mears as the Chris Van Veik character. Mm -hmm. Zayn played the older version of Chris, the current version, and I played the younger version of Chris Van Veik, which makes sense. We are actually in the rehearsals of this. I want to ask you, do you think that you've brought as director the story to life? Is it what you expected of it to be? Well, we're in the second week of rehearsal. That's a very difficult question. <laughs> I can only answer that uh, Later next on. week, Thursday. I can give yes. you that answer. But um, at the moment, you can't say. I'm very happy with where the process is. I, as a director, always trust the process. Uh, I always trust the actor that I work with, um, or the actors in other situations. This is a one-man show, so it's only one actor. But um, I'm very happy with where it is. I think 
we're sitting on a fantastic production here. Yeah? Mm. I really think people, I really hope that people will come out to come watch this thing. Will this be a touring show? We hope that it will be a touring show. Uh, obviously, I can't say now where we want it to go, but uh, hopefully we will be on tour and hopefully the show will have a life for quite a while. I am Gail Fasahi. This is my crush that made me so nervous. This is Jobrick TV. Make sure to subscribe and like.